Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome to Robits. This is a third-person overhead puzzle game slash fighting th beat em up thing with coding elements to it, if that makes any sense. Played a little bit of this off-camera, it was nice. We're apparently a cop or something, with a robot buddy, and they're adorable. And, uh, you program things with chips and right, stuff. So it's great. Today's the big day. Whoa. Me and the guys have already broken into the security system, so it should be pretty smooth sailing. Just should find it? Guy in charge and take out his bot so we can swoop in and arrest him. Okay, can do. Uh, my question is, how did we get in here when all we had was a, ro a closed road and a dead end? Uh, that, that's my question. Okay, anything over here? Nope. Yep. Okay, let's just punch this grate and get moving. Left click to punch. Find a way into the building. Done. Click. Punch the robot. Done. Recruit. Yes. A robot's named. Um. Um. Prunkle. Prunkle J. Prunkle J. Good. Edit the robot. Okay. Yeah, I kind of figured that much. We, I, I know how this works. You do chips and then they lead into other chips and then things happen. So right now we gotta maneuver this to do a thing. Hang on. There's the whole board. Now we do a connector. That's a chip. It connect connects other chips together. We don't need it yet. I'll click the arrows to do the thing. Okay. Right click arrows to go counterclockwise. Done. Hover over the conductor thing. There you go. Back to start. Now to loop it. Step to owner. Back to start. There you go. Close the editor and activate your code. Done. That's how we do. Oh, now we added the robot. Okay. Parts. Punch arm. That is a one-armed robot. With a traffic cone on his head. Oh. Okay. What are we replacing? Punch. With step. Punch owner. Shit. Oh, well, you're punching the owner. Crap. Okay, now... Next to editor, see if it punches. It does. Reprogram the robot to follow you. Done. Easy peasy. Edit your robot. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, we're doing the if chip now. Okay, so conditionals work in this way. You do that. If owner... Wait, no. Over over the if chip to read the description. Done. I, I did it. Can we skip? Set the target to enemy. If spotted... Oh, wait, no. We'll move that down. If spotted, punch enemy. Back to start. Okay, I did that. The enemy is spotted, your robot's program will take the green path, the true path. The red path is the false path, and we gotta, like, have a condition for that. So, if false, step to owner. Back to start. There you go. That's how programming works. Move to it and fight it. Oh, right, I gotta step to the enemy and fight it. It's not just... Right, okay. I, I'm... I'm smart. I'm smart. Wait, no. Punch enemy. That's the owner. Okay, there we go. That's that if the robot targets the thing. Yeah, it does. See? Done. 
It's done. You can also view the code of the robot, it seems. There's just a connector going around to the start button. That's... Do they not know how programming works? Fight the robot in the next room. Okay. <clears throat> Should I be helping? Did I just die? I died. How did I die? Does it not want me to do any fighting? Should I not do the fighting? Because I thought I should do a little bit of the fighting. Okay, fine. I guess I won't do any of the fighting. I'll just let the robot do it for me. Okay, pick up the gear. Equip it on the robot over here. Once I'm healed. Once he's healed. I'm ready to go. Okay, give him the punch arm. Now, was there another thing I needed? I don't think there was. Pretty sure it's just smacking things in the face. Pick up the hat. Fuck! No! I lost the hat. Wait, no I didn't. Okay, we're good. Oh no! Okay, we nearly lost you, Prunkle J. Let's just, uh, give you a health up. There we go. You're healed and ready to go. Now, um, was that all I was supposed to do? Is just, like, get on this and do things? And hmm. also said I could set I could set to uh wait, hang on. Avoid robots that are too strong. You can use the if chip to s to check if an enemy has a certain weapon. Battle your way to the boss. Okay. So I'll have another if condition here, and then we'll loop it to here, if that's the case. Step to owner, back to start. Okay, if... I oh, know, I need the true condition to be there. If enemy has sword, Step to owner. Otherwise... Oh, wait, no, I don't need another condition. Hang on. I just need to do that, right? Otherwise, step to enemy, punch enemy, back to start. Alright? I think that's right. I think that's right. Pretty sure that's right. Okay, we're good. That was correct, then. Uh, guns. What if I set that to gun real quick? Or... Do I need several back-to-start loops, or can I just have one? Maybe I should try to clean this up a bit, because, like... I think I only need the one back-to-start chip. Or I only need, like, a couple. But I also don't want to clean it up, so it's just gonna remain dirty for a bit. Uh, let's see. If... Oh. Enemy has... Sword. Shit.
Okay, we'll do that. No. Step to owner, back to start. Is that right? Okay, let me check the logic here. If enemy is spotted... Yes. If enemy has gun arm... Yes, step back to owner. If not, then the enemy has a sword. Step back to the owner. And if the enemy does not have a sword, punch the enemy and keep punching the enemy. Got it. Whoa. Okay, we're good. I need another checkpoint. Is there one here? Yes. Okay. What's this? It just... it didn't even program it. No one programmed the... the robot. Who the fuck does that? Ooh, that's new. Hello, what's in here? Is this a sword arm? That's a sword arm! Hello, robot friend. I'm giving you a sword arm. Uh, you're left-handed. Let's do that. Okay. Still gonna have you, like, not do any kind of real fighting. Maybe I should switch you to the gun arm thing. Okay, we'll do that. If the enemy has a sword... Run away. The enemy has a gun? Oh, fuck, man. I'm only punching. I just realized. That'd be an important distinction to, uh, make. No, don't rename the robot. I have an idea. Did I get the sword arm yet? No, I didn't. Okay. So I know exactly what I need to do now. Need to avoid... ...the gun people. <laughs> okay. So, whoa. Why did my... Why is my coat dirty? And not doing anything? Oof. So that was another if statement, yes? Okay, if enemy has sword, do all that. Now, if the enemy has a gun arm, still go to me. We'll just, uh, play this safe. Then maybe go back to it later. Oof! I need to fight it? Oof. Why do I need to fight it? I'm... yeah, of course I'm dead. Okay. Shit. This is embarrassing. So I need to fight it. Alright. If I need to fight it... Then here's an idea. Take the sword arm. We'll have you equip it on the left. And we'll do a little something something. Hey, where'd the... Where'd the fucking thing go? Okay, there's that. Now, if the enemy has a gun arm... Hmm. Actually, what I need to do is clean this up a bit, so let's do that. Okay, so... If the enemy is spotted... If the enemy has a sword, run away. If not, though... Oh, I already have that one. 
Why do I already have another sword conditional? Okay, so there's that. So we'll do that. And we'll slash. Okay, nobody knows what this mysterious chip does. Someone should let a developer know about this since it looks like SOMEONE forgot to fill out the chip's description. Someone forgot the chip's sl the slash description. That's not Gooch. I did, like, let you know to chase an enemy down, right? It's up to enemy, punch enemy, slash. Okay. You do. Oof. Oh, that's not gonna end well. There we go. Okay. Gun arm, gun arm. I can gun arm. I need to heal you, though, because you're about to fucking die. I feel like that's my fault, somehow. Okay. So we've got two gun arms. Should I give a sword and a gun, or should I just give gun? I think I should just give gun. Maybe a bit of both. We'll be Mega Man Zero. I know that's that. We're gonna shoot the enemy instead of punch him. We've got we got some Mega Man X action going on here. Alrighty, let's go find us a new thing. Oh, I little robots in love. That's a <clears throat> that's adorable. Okay, gun and shoot. Good, I needed that anyway. Is this the boss? Oof. Why are you not chasing the enemy? Oh fuck, you've still got that condition. I forgot about that. I forgot there was still the condition to run away from something with a sword. It's okay, we're debugging the programs. We're debugging, it's fine. Alright, so... Move that away a second. That there. Alright. So we're going to remove that. We're going to move there. We're gonna do that. Now, if an enemy is spotted, Step to the enemy, shoot him and slash him. Probably a better idea to just shoot him. Um, maybe I should actually have it follow me and then, like, not step to enemy. So, like, step to owner. Shoot. Yeah, we'll double shoot, you know? Yes, left arm. We're gonna have him shoot. Is it shoot one one or let's have at least one gun arm. Players must define target. Okay, so we're gonna have you follow me and then shoot the enemy. And then we're gonna run around him. Okay? That gonna work? Probably not. Let's find out. Oh, we've got a thing going. It's sort of working. <laughs> Is it- did it work? <laughs> it worked! It was a little broken, but it worked. I'm- I'm happy about that outcome. This was Robits. I like the process- I like the concept, and I hope that the developer does more with it. Because one level is not enough. I need- I need more. I need more of this. This was fun. If anyone knows of other games like this, please let me know, because I actually want to play more of these. I need the programming practice. I need to get good at the syntax. There are no options for this game. Just just pointing that out. Maybe, maybe add options next time if you can. But anyway, this was amazing. I loved it. 
I look forward to more of this if there is in fact more coming. You can get the game in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. And let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Shrill and Leviel for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to these fine people for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!